fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 11th of April 2025. I'm awake later than I was expecting to be awake and that's because I was uh, awake previously in the night. I went, I was had a really long day yesterday. I know it's the same day, a number of hours as any other day, but I mean I was busy all day and um uh, I went when I, I was exhausted when I went to sleep, uh, but unfortunately I was asleep for about an hour or two hours, and I was woken up by a cockroach climbing on my leg, and it wouldn't go off. I tried to get it off, and I it just kept climbing and running around. And my it was vile, and you know I had to jump up and turn the light on and get it off me, and tried to kill it and couldn't. It, the thing kept escaping as well. <laughs> it was. And that really woke me up. That's, there's no chance of resting after that. You know, like sometimes you're half asleep, wake up half asleep and you can go back to sleep. But after that is, oh, God, no. <laughs> so uh, I did not have a very uh, peaceful sleep. I, after that, I just couldn't go back to sleep for ages and ages. And unfortunately, listened to a podcast and I heard, you know, expecting to fall asleep in the middle of it. But no, I managed to get it to, to get to the end of it and another one. And <laughs> so... I didn't get too much sleep last night. I fell asleep sometime in the morning, I think. Um, okay, so that's my uh, strange, weird, squeaky voice this morning or whatever. Um, what's going on in the world? I've never been a fan of smashing things. It's not in my nature. I've never really understood why people enjoy doing it. But I know that people find it very therapeutic, you know. I once had a friend in London who inherited a property when his dad died and he was going to convert it into some other kind of property and he took a great sledgehammer and was smashing the windows and doors and the, the actually the brickwork everything <laughs> and he loved it he absolutely loved it and he you know he said do you want to try and I'm saying, no not really it doesn't really make me he felt him good he was it was really therapeutic you know I've met quite a lot of people this is I, I find this is quite a common thing actually people do enjoy kind of smashing things um, but I, that isn't me at all. Uh, but I mention this because right now there are people smashing up a Tesla. Don't worry, it's not somebody's Tesla that is, uh, you know, their private property. It's this Tesla that was about to be um, uh, um, crushed into a cube like they do on the cartoons. You know, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, no, in, no longer in any use. Uh, but uh, a, a group in the UK have turned it into a. a uh, a bashing thing <laughs> so that people can go with sledgehammers and baseball bats it says everyone hates elon uh, on here and there's a big sign and people go and smash it to show their disapproval of uh not just elon musk but the billionaire class and um i think this is a good thing you know for those people that enjoy doing that kind of stuff uh, go and do it uh, it makes a nice statement hopefully it will get some um press some publicity which is uh, you know what is required nowadays things have to get uh, publicity otherwise they, they are just ignored um but let's hope it does get some and provide some therapy for people that, who i definitely do understand that uh, the people are frustrated with billionaires there should be no such thing as a billionaire let alone multi multi billionaires like elon musk um people are disgusted with what he's doing with uh, America's um, civil service and f um, federal agencies, I should say, but but the point is that the people should never be in such a position of wealth anyway. And this project is all about, uh, you know, rebelling against the uh, wealth, massive, massive, massive wealth inequality that we have now. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Let's turn my eye to the grid. Uh, this is the Guardian's. Um, hard level game i forgot to look friday yeah it must be a hard level game for the guardian today uh and uh, we will begin with one there is one blocking down here and down here oh come on and a one across here and that's going to give me a one in that square just so and what will we continue with Three. 
blocking up here. Oh, I just heard my stomach has woken up. <laughs> it's ready for breakfast. And we've got nine across this way. And down here. Yesterday's Guardian was super easy. It's labelled as a hard level, but it was very easy yesterday. We'll see if today's is a bit more challenging. Could hardly be less challenging, actually. Okay, five blocking these two squares here, so that's going to give me a five here. The remaining digits in this column are going to be one and seven, and so this is not. This is going to be an eight. Two and eight block up here. That puts two and eight into those squares and leaves me here with... Oh, sorry, I'll do the seven. One and seven first. Somebody will com be com complaining. You said it was one and seven. You didn't do it. Two and eight are here. Can't do those yet. Missing numbers here are one... Five, seven, one and five there, okay, no. Uh, missing numbers down here then are not one, five or seven. They are um, four, six, nine, I think. And this is, well, one blocking there, so there's our one. Uh, f what did I say? Four, six, nine, was it? And this is going to be a 7. Oh, I hear the sound of thunder. Better hurry up and finish this game. Go out and get breakfast before uh, before uh, the rain arrives. One, I think this is the last digit one on the board. No, it's not. There's one over here. That is the last one to find. Okay, let's just go sequentially, shall we? Hmm, so we get twos in those squares. I already mentioned up there before. Okay, so we get a pair of fours down there. We've got fours blocking these two squares, right? So we have fours down here. Does that do anything much? Which means fours are not there. No. Uh, no, not really. Five up here, down here, and across there. There's a five. Five blocking this square, this square, this square, and this square. So up there, there's a five. And then five across here, five up here. Here's our five. I've forgotten what number goes here, but I'll work it out quickly. Uh, what This was two and eight, was it? And this is seven. There we go. Where did I get to? Five, was it? Seven blocking this square, seven blocking this square, seven blocking this square, and seven blocking this square. So in this column, there is our seven, seven this way, seven up here, seven across there gives us seven in that square. So we've got a pair of 5 and 8 in these squares here because 5 and 8 across here, 5 and 8 across here. So that means this and this is 5 and 8. So this square here is not. It must be a 4. 
four blocks up here, four blocks across there, there's a four. Three and eight block up here that puts three and eight into those squares and leaves me with a six there. Uh, I'll start again. I don't need ones. Oh, three blocks across there. There we go. And this is an eight. Eight down here, down here, across there. Eight blocking this way. There's an eight. This is two. Um, two and four block this square, which is going to put two and four into these squares and leave me with six over here. Six this way, six that way, six down there, there's a six. I can get this because I just said this was two and four. And I can see that these squares are going to be five and eight. Two, four, five, eight, so this is three. Three blocks up here and across there, there's our three. Missing digit here is two. Two blocking down here, we need a two in this row, there's our two, this will be the four. <clears throat> One number to get at the bottom there, that looks to be a three to me. Three there, three down, three down there. One and three are finished. Um, and it's been a pretty easy game. I'm using the past tense because I don't think there's going to be any, there's enough room to squeeze in any kind of difficult logic or anything like that here. Uh, two blocks across here, two down here. There's our two. Two across here, across there. That's a two, two blocking up here, there's the two. Missing digit here is a seven. Seven blocking down here across there. There's the seven. That's the last digit seven. There's one number missing here. What are you? You are, no you're not. You're an eight. Eight blocks down here. There's the eight. This is a five if I remember correctly. And uh, five blocks down here and across here and across there. There's a five. That's the last digit. Five, right. We, oh, we've only got four, six, and nine to find. Let's try them. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got six and nine in this column, so that's going to be a four then. Four blocks across here and down here. There's a four. Four across here, four across there. There's a four. Four up here. There's a four. There's one number to get in this column. I see four and nine already. It's got to be the six then. That's the nine. That's the six. That's the nine, that's the six. And we've got six up there, there's our nine, that's the game over. Uh, I'll try and get in some more Sudoku today when I, if I can, although I am gonna be, hopefully I'm gonna be busy in the afternoon, so. But I'll try and get at least one more game out today, if I can. Take care, bye bye.